Hello and hi everyone. Welcome to English Orchard. Once again for it another poem the fog by Carl Sandburg. And coming closer to the poem the fog we see that Carl Sandburg who was born in the year 1878 and died in the year 1967 was an american poet a biographer journalist and an editor he was known to be the collector of american folk songs talking about much about his writings we see that his biography of abraham lincoln is still popular among the readers In his career he has won three Pulitzer prizes and most of his poems highlight Chicago city and once president Lyndon B Johnson observed that Carl Sandburg was more than the voice of America more than the poet of strength and genius he was America this was the comment made by Lyndon B Johnson about Carl Oge Sandburg so he delighted in writing poetry about chicago city and that may be one of the reason why he was appreciated by president lyndon b johnson calling him as he was america and for writing the poem fog he was highly inspired while he was walking near chicago's grand park where he wanted to meet a person as on his way he had a book of japanese haiku in 17 syllable poem with the essence of natural world so as he was waiting in this chicago's grand park in the early morning he would experience the fog all around the harbor looking towards the city so that inspiration just made him write the poem the fog as he was waiting in the chicago's grand park for the person he wanted to meet so during the spare time he found utilizing the time for writing the present situation that was just before his eyes that the chicago city was fully covered up with fog and that just made him write the poem the fog okay and now coming closer to the reflections of the poem the fog we see that this Poem The Fog was first published in Chicago Poems in 1960. And this denotes a great interest of this poet towards the natural world, the scenic beauty. And he was trying to capture a very mesmerizing beautiful moment of nature. That the fog covering the harbor waters and also just beautifying the elegance of Chicago city during winter season. And also we see that he was just putting a powerful image of life that is how beautiful nature will be in such a beautiful manner especially in this winter season when the place is covered with fog and he was inspired by seeing this he thought of writing the poem the fog and here this fog is a metamorphical representation in which he is highlighting using a comparison of a cat so this is what we see in fog okay now let's read the poem the fog okay this is a very small poem just i written while he was sitting in chicago's grand park the fog comes so little cat feet it's sits looking our harbor and city on silent haunches and then moves on this is the poem the fog only six lines in the six lines we see that the first two lines just talks about how fog comes and how he think the fog just comes and also we have seen that this is a comparison that he is making not a real comparison but metamorphical representation of fog with a cat the characteristics of a cat is just put on to this fog the silent nature the moment the posture 
and the features of a cat is compared with the fog. So the first two lines says that the fog comes on little cat feet. The manner or here we see that this two lines just gives a snapshot of a city scene in a winter season. So that's why the poet says that the fog comes on little cat feet. Description of the winter season with the presence of fog. You, saw, you, you have seen that in American cities, always the people experience a very cool winter season in which they enjoy to the best. Isn't it? And now you we see that here as the poet is just trying to bring out the character of a cat in this fog, we see that it comes on little cat feet. What is that? The fog, the manner of fog coming towards the particular place is just given or compared with the cat with the slow movement. As we all know that this is one of the most uh, important character of cat that it doesn't make a noise while it just comes towards a particular place to engulf the place, just to come around and occupy the place to have his wish done. So just like as we fail to know the coming and going out of a cat, the footsteps, the pole that he just keeps on in each step, we couldn't able to identify the sound of the cat feet. So likewise, no one doesn't know when this folk comes and that may be one of the reasons why the poet says that the folk comes on little cat feet. And it also just comes without giving any intuition or without giving any sign of the coming. It just comes over there and fills all over the place. It comes and occupies the entire place. And also, this fog is unaware about what is happening around. Although it gives a beautiful picture or it gives a beautiful scenic picture of nature but still then the fog is unaware about what is happening around so that's why the two lines the first two lines the poet says that this fog gives a beautiful picturization of a city which is covered up or which is just a wrapped in fog and now the time of its arrival is not known to anyone just like a cat just enters into a house just searching for his food no one comes to know about that so that's why the poet just gives the comparison of a cat with that of the fog the arrival of the fog is metamorphically compared with cat then coming to the second uh, next two lines it says looking over harbor and port okay now what he does the fog comes, no one comes to know about the arrival of the fog, at what time it comes, no one knows it. So as the poet was sitting there, he just happened to see, as he was sitting there in the Grand Park, he just happened to see the entire place is covered with fog. And what happens here is, it just comes and sits in the harbor to watch the entire city, just like a cat sit, or it just sits silently. The nature of the cat is just put on this folk by telling that without making any disturbance to anyone, this folk just came over there in the harbor. The harbor is port. You all know that, isn't it? So it just comes over there and watch the entire city. Just have a glimpse of the entire city. Just like here maybe the poet was just imagining the posture or the physical future, future of this folk with that of a cat who may be sitting in the winter corner just to watch the scenery of the city. Okay, likewise the poet feels likewise that's why it says that it sits looking our harbor and city. Even though it causes no harm to anyone but what happened on the other hand the people who are walking, who are driving, who are mo moving all around may befall some, uh, what is that, accidents because of the lack of visibility because the entire place is covered with what? Covered with fog. 
so the fog is not aware about what is happening on the other side it just comes over there occupy the full place just enjoy watching visualizing the beauty of the city just like a cat who sits on the window pane and just experience the beauty of city okay then and the manner of the sitting or the manner of his posture is highlighted here in the last two lines what is that on silent haunches and then moves on now let's see is it how this fog is been seen the poet is just visualizing and he was just imagining that as he just give, given a comparison towards the cat he also feels like on silent haunches what is haunches haunches means sitting with knees bent so just like a cat sit he also feel like just like a white cat he also feels like the fog is sitting on his haunches and then moves on that shows that the movement of the fog the coming and the departure of the fog is not given any notice it doesn't gives any notice to anyone unaware of his coming and it's going it just moves from the place it's very hard for a person to identify the arrival and the departure of what of fog so that's why the poet is giving a comparison of cat with the fog in the manner of its city isn't it and also the silent nature of fog it doesn't make any noise or it is unpredictable at what time at what time it comes or at what time it just goes no one knows about that just like the coming and going of a cat so it's a natural that fog doesn't stay at a place for a longer time and leave the place after a few hours it doesn't spend the entire day the fog doesn't spend entire day in a particular place when the sun shines it just slowly moves away from the place so as the poet as long as he was sitting there in the grand park waiting for another person to meet there all of a sudden he had seen the fog withdrawn but he couldn't notice the point of time in which the fog just departed from that place so that's why he thought of comparing he thought of just giving a comparison with the nature the mannerism and also the character of fog with that of the cat okay so actually this is not the poet poem is a metaphor in which the poet was giving a comparison on the nature on the manner of as well as the style of the cat with that of a fog we cannot say that it's a simile it's metaphor the poetical device that dominates the poem is metaphor and before that just uh, just have a look at why the poet is thinking or why the poet seems to be like the fog is like a cat okay in the first line what is that the fog comes on its little cat feet just like a cat the fog comes in so slowly that no one notices it the coming of the fog is not easily identified by a person or any one so that may be the reason why the poet says that it just comes on little cat feet slowly keeping the pause isn't it the cat as the cat just slowly treads the place with its paw just like one without making any noise or any sound or any uh, prediction here the fog also comes in then the poet says the second one is it sits looking over harbor and city indirectly the poet is comparing the fog to a cat that it likes to sit and look outside side silently just enjoy the whole city silently without creating any problem isn't it and now on the third reason is on silent haunches and moves on now also here we see that just like a cat sitting on its haunches the fox to sit silently for a while and then slowly moves on in force we see that the coming and the going of the cat is compared with the coming and going of fox and the second uh, thing is it's just comparing the manner of its so how it's just both the fog as well as the cat 
just visualize thing they both has the quality to see everything silently and the third one is the manner of its sitting as well as the movement that both is unnoticed this is why the poet compares the fog with that of a cat okay then before winding up let's have a look on the poetic devices so i told you that the poem is an extended metaphor the fog axe or the cat is compared or a comparison is made between fog and a cat related to the character nature the silent nature the moment and how it feels like okay so extended metaphor what is metaphor attributing the full quality of one to another not a part but the full quality of one to another the full quality of cat was just highlighted towards presenting fog send it then the imagery this next one is imagery what is that we can just visualize the image of a cat with thick fog isn't it the thick fog white fog is just a image that is been created by the poet just like that of a white cat who is just sitting on a harbor and enjoying the whole city the next one is enjambment what is enjambment enjambment already we have seen enjambment is one line connects with another that means there is no pause or stop in between isn't it from the beginning till the end it continues without a pause or it is the sentence just continues a continuation is there from the beginning till the end it seems to be like a sentence or lines that is interconnected from one line to another so these six lines are interconnected to one another giving a uh, explanation or a meaning of its own so that's why the poetic device is enjambment and the third one is personification what is personification that is attributing human quality to non human things here the fog is said to be like sits it sits looking sitting see it so here we see that the fog is given the quality of human like that it sits see it sitting quality or is attributed to the fog that's why the fog is personified see it coming and going so now last one is rhyming scheme there is no particular rhyming rhyming scheme that is followed in this uh, poem the fog so i hope you understood the poem the fog it's a very small poem just highlighting and giving a beautiful picturization of nature and from this poem we could understand that how much this poet loved nature especially he was trying to give a beautiful image and a beautiful scene of chicago city so most of his poem just highlights the beauty as well as the mesmerizing sceneries of america especially chicago city maybe that's one of the reason why uh president linton b johnson just called him as he was america okay that's all about the poem the fog thank you all for watching for more videos like subscribe and watch english orchard may god bless you all